What's going on, man? It's your big brother, Trend. You tuned in again to another Divine video. Um, it's Sunday, July 21st. Out here, I'm in Arizona still. The temperature cooling down a little bit. Um, we just hit monsoon season, so, you know, we, we getting them a little slight scattered uh, rainfalls here and there every once in a while, overnight stuff like that so it's a lot cooler out here um now than the peak of the summer so thank god for that but um yeah i'm doing pretty good just woke up ready to get the day started um <clears throat> power outages are happening all around the globe um and even in this country okay it's like a it it's like an IT storm. A, 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 what, they, what they call it? A cyber swift storm. It, they, everybody's spe speculating all this stuff about what they think it is. You know, it, and nah, it's just the systems are down. You know, uh, flights being canceled. People at the airports delayed for four hours. And it's it right now. I just looked on the news this morning. They had 35% of flights right now are delayed. So don't try to fly right now because chances are your flight going to be delayed. And you know the flights is already expensive as it is. So it's just going to make it more worse if you try to book a flight for something right now and go to the airport. You're going to have to lay in the airport, take a whole nap. And your plane flight still ain't going to be there yet. But anyway, before I talk about the power outages a little bit more, I want to tell you all this. So I had this young lady book a session with me yesterday with a 704 area code number. My hometown. From, from North Carolina. Shouts out to people out there in the NC. And for those of you who don't know, I got many different choices of options you can pick from when it comes down to booking a session with me. Okay, you can find it in the comment section at the top. You click that link. So this young lady books a 10-minute session with me. Gets on the phone with me. Tells me that she is not really, she don't really have anything she wants to ask me or you know she don't have no problems or you know because i'm a life coach my whole I, the idea for me to talk on the phone is to be a coach for any type of concerns or any problems that you might be dealing with you know i can assist you with that that's my job so this young lady gets on the phone and tells me she's not really looking for no coaching she actually likes me personally and she wants to get to know me so I'm like, okay, you know, I didn't say too much. I'm just listening to what she got to say. You know, she's like, you know, I like your videos and you remind me of me and I usually don't do this. Fellas, you know, they say that all the time. I usually don't do this, and, but the, but it, 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 I felt it on my heart to reach out to you because I never do this. And I just wanted to let you know that... Um, if you are open for dating and stuff like that. I said, you know what? I am. That's why I got an option. That's why I have that option that you can mark on my, on my sessions where I have that particular session type. She did not choose that session type. She chose the lowest possible session that you can get, the, 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 the least amount of time. That cost the least amount, 10 minutes. Okay, which is why I make 10, I give people the 10 minute session because I know a lot of people just really don't really want to talk. They just really want to, you know, some people thank me for videos. Some people thank me for inspiring them. They just want to hear my voice. That's why I got that. Thank y'all for booking that session. But she didn't do that. She just wanted to get on there and tell me, you know, I'm feeling you. I want to get to know you. Is there any possible way you can come and see me? And is there any possible way I, I can come out there to see you? I said, first of all, you that ain't the way you get to know somebody is you talk to me for a whole full 10 minutes, right, fellas? She want to talk to me for a whole 10 minutes, fellas. And time was up. 10 minutes go by, splickety split. I can do this. This video about to be up in 10 minutes. And she's still talking. Now, I'm about to cut it off. I'm about to cut the phone off. Like, ma'am, um, that's it. 10 minutes. Somebody else is right after you. I got to accommodate for them. They pay their money, too, and I got to be... 
considerate of that person after you. She's just going on and on and on and on. Well, if this is too much, then I understand, but you can still text me. This is my number right here. So I gets off the phone with her and I'm texting her. I'm talking about, she's talking about, you know, trying to talk personally, ask questions and stuff. I'm like, ma'am, uh, you know, this, this, this is not appropriate. Well, she's like, well, this is not, at this point, it's not business, it's personal and stuff. And I'm just like, ma'am, if you want to talk to me again, please just, if you go in and book that session where I have it titled, get to know me type of session, okay? Because I'm open to stuff like that, do it. Cause that gives you more time. So I'm telling here thinking she gonna book a session that actually lets her get to know me. And I'm telling her a little bit more about myself. She books another session for 10 more minutes gets on the phone again i just i'm sorry i just wanted you to explain more about yourself i'm like ma'am I, I what you want to know you got 10 minutes to ask me some questions what you want to know so let me make a long story short she wasn't putting her money where her mouth is i mean if you if you want to date if, if i like somebody that much i'm gonna show them in a way that nobody else does that i'm interested in that person Ladies, when it comes to guys that really like you, don't do he not take you to one of his best spots in the city or do y'all go to McDonald's or Burger King? No, he take you to one of his dopest spots. He take you to one of his best, his prime time spots. He want to show you off to all the world. He want to pay for your drink. There ain't no telling how much that costs. You don't never know how much it costs. You just sit there and eat and drink or go, go hang out at the movies. You don't even worry about it. And he throw his best shot. But even ladies out there, even some of y'all ladies out there are so entitled. Y'all got so used to that. Y'all don't even see no benefit in that no more. Because so many ladies have become entitled to men and men paying for them when they first hang out. Well, you know what? Men, this is why we switching it around nowadays. It's time for them to pay for our time. Like Big Bro Trend. And this chick going to tell me on the phone, talk about, well, this is what she said, y'all. I'm going to get into the power hour stuff in a minute. But this is what she said. She's talking about, well, you it's, you should be, she said something like, you should talk to me because uh, I probably make more money than you do in a week than you do in a month on YouTube. And I just like, <laughs> wow. I'm like, what type of work you do? I ain't going to expose the type of work she do, but I want to say it so bad. But she do something with IT. That's all I got to say. That's why I'm making this video. IT. And she said she do day trading on the side. So she was already bragging and boasting about how much money she make, but she couldn't afford she couldn't afford to buy more than a 10-minute session at $20. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And she did it twice, but she made more money than me. Anyway, fellas, Put value on, put some, tell them put some respect on your name below, fellas. Comment, tell them girls, put some respect on your name. Don't let them get over on you no more, fellas. Charge for your voice. Start charging them to speak to you. Let's get down to this video. But anyway, power outages all over the United States of America, folks. I'm going to tell you what is, what's happening. You got Starbucks power system shut down. Payway system shut down. Safeway grocery stores, cash registers ain't working everywhere. The grid is slowly shutting down. But is the is the grid really what the one that's shutting down? No, I'm gonna tell you what it was. I just figured it out. Folks, welcome to the real world. This is what they do in the matrix. Okay, since the matrix is slowly crumbling and we can see the matrix for what it is now. For those who have eyes, they can see, they may see. For those who have ears, they can hear, they will hear. OK, when you with the most high, he revealed things to you in revelations that you can't do if you wasn't saved, if you wasn't Christ consciousness. So. Um, look at what's going on, power out all of us. Now, listen, this is what they love to do all of a sudden. Power outages. I told you all every day we wake up. It's a new story, bro. This is how they keep everybody just in like, like that, quiet. Don't say nothing, don't do nothing. We confuse you. Now, what was the story recent or what was the story right before that? What was the biggest story? Think about it. I'm gonna let you think. What was the biggest story that was 
worldwide, countrywide, that was the biggest story right before you heard about these power outages. I'm going to let you think. You still don't know? Ten minutes is up. That's what I was feeling like when that girl called me. Don't, don't, call is ended, ma'am. Um, I'll talk to you later. Book another session. You know what it was? If you didn't think of it already, the uh, failed attempt assassination of Donald Trump. That was the biggest story. Donald Trump was getting the most praise because he had become a neighborhood superstar. He done survived the gunshots from the black folks. They tried to do a drive-by on Trump. He survived. He got a scrape on the a nip and a kiss on the ear and jumped up. West side. West side. West side. Had to carry him off stage. Donald Trump, too black. That was the previous story prior to the power outages. Donald Trump even took over states after that. The electoral votes went up. States was turning red. That was blue. His approval rating went up because he became a survival of an assassination attempt. People love gangsters. You feel me? Deep down inside, people love gangsters. That's the latest. They love the thugs. And this is a convicted felon. Again, ladies love the thugs. People love the thugs and the gangsters, the gaudies and the mafias. All right? But this is what we battling against, y'all. Now, this is a real mafia. This is a real monster. They have the power to control a grid. They have the power to make plane flights stop and delay. They have the power to shut your job down. They got the power to shut your phone off. They got the power to turn off Wi-Fi. They got the power to shut down AT&T, T-Mobile, Virgin, Verizon Wireless, Cricket. Whatever you use, they got the power to shut it down. What is the greatest deception to the people? Show them something that will distract them from what's really going on. Power outages, if you ask me, I'm a conspiracy theorist. It ain't nothing but a distraction to throw people off from this man. This is how bad they don't want that man to win. They will shut down the grids. I'll be surprised at what strings they're going to pull come November. I'll be surprised if we don't go back on lockdown again. I will be surprised if it don't be another pandemic. I'll be surprised. This is just another distraction, folks. This is what they do. Now everybody thinking about their power outages and their job now. You can't go to work. Your computers are down at work. You can't go... This, oh man, I gotta get back to work, man. I gotta make this money to pay my bills, man. This is the battle. This is what we really up against. They really got that power like that. And this is just conspiracy theory. Make sure you speak up, let your voice be heard. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think because I might be wrong. I'm just talking out of my head. Is this a distraction? Is this a distraction because all of a sudden Joe Biden just popped up and got? You already know what they said he got. How did that come about? I thought it was a cold at first. It's distractions all around, folks. I'm excited to see what's going to happen tomorrow, the next day. What's going to be the next biggest story? Because I heard that Kamala Harris is about to be running for president because Joe Biden family is telling him he need to step down. But the campaign people is telling him he need to keep going. But the, his family, his wife and him like, Joe, come on, Joe, Joe, you can't do it no more. He like, wait, 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 hold on. I still got the fight. They like, Joe, come come on, let me help you down these steps, Joe, come on. Hold on. Yep. Kamala Harris is going to be running for president, I bet, if he stepped down before the election time come around. And guess who I think behind all this, y'all? You won't believe who I would think behind all this mastermind and this whole thing. Obama. Obama, the brains behind everything. If you ask me, you can't tell me he ain't. He quiet, he back in the cut, making all the chess moves. I'm telling you, because Obama ain't dumb. Obama is very, very intelligent. Man, intelligence, if you got intelligence, that's, you dangerous. 
I wouldn't be surprised if Obama is setting this whole show up. I wouldn't be surprised if he's behind the power outages. Well, ain't that the same man that, that produced the movie Leave the World Behind where all the power went out? Am I right or am I wrong, y'all? I don't know. I'm just tripping. Book a session with me, man. You want to holler at me in the comment section below at the top. Big bro trend looking for booking sessions with anybody. I've been talking to people every day, all day. I want to talk to you next. Ladies, if you want to book more than a 10-minute session to get to know me, do it. Because she just completely just lost. Okay? She just... Oh, my God. Just complete entitlement. So, with that being said, man, power allergies. If you're at the airport, just just hang in there. And make sure you subscribe to my channel. And watch some of my videos while you're waiting on them plane flights, man. It's your big bro, Trend. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.